Want to know why most tax professionals are broke? We're going to be getting into this topic in this video, so stay tuned. Okay, guys, let's get down to business. What's going on? I'm Tatiani Favors. For those of you all who do not know, your tax business coach, and we're going to get into why most tax professionals are broke. Okay, why do we see so many people out here on these internet streets talking about they prepare taxes and all of this? Some of them are flexing for the gram, as my niece would say, okay, meaning that they look better and they look like they're making more money than what they really are. Um, and it's just not the case. So if you are interested in really looking like the money that you're actually making, you definitely want to continue to watch this video because there are a few things along the years of me being a tax business coach over the past eight years and just me being in the taxation industry over the past 18 years that I have noticed in this industry as it pertains to professionals um, and why they just seem like they're not making the money that they want to be making, okay? So I have a few reasons why tax professionals are broke, <laughs> okay? And we're just going to go through a few of these things today. So, the and they're not in any particular order. These are just things that I have noticed over the years, okay? So first thing is that most tax professionals, they're doing what everything, what everyone else is doing, okay? They're doing what everyone else is doing, which quiet as is kept doesn't really work. What do I mean by they're doing what everyone else is doing? Well, during quarter four, October, November, December, just look at all of how the tax professionals are uh, marketing their tax business, okay? They all look the same, just with different colors and different logos, and they're all saying the same thing. Pretty much, hey, I prepare taxes, let me prepare your taxes. You know, no one is really setting themselves apart from the competition out here. And that is what is keeping you broke because when someone is actually out here looking for a tax professional to actually prepare their taxes, it's like they get confused because you, if you're sounding like everyone else, if you're looking like everyone else, you fall into that lake of sameness, okay? That lake of sameness, meaning you're just like all of the other people. What makes you so different than everyone else? And that is one of the things that I want to stress to you about. What separates you from everyone else? What are your USPs, your unique selling propositions? By identifying your USPs, that can help you not do what everyone else is doing. That can separate you from your competition if you figure out and can effectively tell your audience what, what makes you so special, what makes you so unique as it pertains to you preparing people's taxes, okay? So that's one thing that you can do to not do what everyone else is doing. Also, like I said, quiet is kept. A lot of that stuff that everyone else is doing doesn't really work anyway. So you're copying something that doesn't work. That's why you haven't seen the growth that you wanna see in your tax business as well. So there is some tea <laughs> for you, okay? Another reason why tax professionals are broke is because they simply don't have the clarity about where they're going, okay? If you don't have a clear trajectory on where your tax business is going, then you're going to get stuck on a hamster wheel. And what is that hamster wheel? That hamster wheel is getting clients and preparing taxes, getting clients and preparing taxes. Now, can you make a little bit of money doing that? Of course you can. However, you get stuck on this hamster wheel of preparing taxes and, and, and getting clients, you're more busy than progressive. And the goal is to be progressive. The goal is to grow your business in the manner in which you would want it to grow. If you're constantly knee deep in tax returns every tax season, yes, you're making a little bit of coin, but you have no time. 
You have no time for your kids, for your spouse, for other endeavors, for social events. All you have time for is preparing taxes, okay? And that is a form of broke. If you don't have your time, but you work for yourself, when I say broke, it doesn't always mean financially. It can mean physically, spiritually, mentally, time-wise. There are multiple ways of being broke, guys. And so if you do not have that time with your family and all of that, then the little money that you are getting from tax preparation, that's not going to be enough after a while, okay? So you really need to have a clear idea of where you're going so you can start to implement what you need so you can go ahead and get there sooner than later, okay? Sooner than later. Also, another reason why some of y'all are out here broke is because you don't have a target market, okay? You don't have a target market and merge that with you are unknowingly attracting a particular type of market. So let's talk about that for a second. Target market, I'm sure you all have heard. Target market is simply the decision to decide to market to a particular group of people. This group of people can be in a particular industry, a particular just group of people that you want to market your tax services to. They could be realtors, they could be makeup artists, they could be photographers, they could be small business owners who offer products versus services, okay? They could be, you know, just a niche group of people who you have decided to say, you know what, I'm going to market to these people. A lot of people don't like to pick a target market. They think that it uh, significantly decreases the amount of money potential that they can make. And I disagree with that. Um, it actually increases the amount of money because for a few reasons, for a few reasons, um, one being word of mouth isn't dead. So if you know a photographer, that photographer knows other photographers and those people will come to you, okay? Because people like professionals that specialize in something. The days of being a, what do they call it? A jack of all trades and a master of none. Those days are over, okay? People want, if you're a tax professional, they want you to do taxes, that's it. They don't want to see you selling teas and waist trainers and you're a travel agent from, you know, uh, um, between May and November and then you do taxes January through April. Like they don't want to see that. Okay, so instead, if you say, hey, I am a tax specialist for makeup artists, that immediately separates you from all of your other competition who just in their bio or on their website says, hey, I prepare taxes. Now you have a distinction. So you need a target market. But a lot of you who don't pick a target market, you unknowingly attract a particular type of market just because of how you're marketing. What do I mean? I mean, if you're the person that's marketing like get your max tax refund back, oh, get the highest refund here, you know, get this and that and your, your refund, your, your message is constantly um, heavy on the refund then that's a particular type of market right there. Those are the people who are looking for refunds. If typically, if you're going for, let's say you're going for small business owners, small business owners typically understand that breaking even is the ideal situation. They're not looking for a large refund. They just don't wanna have to owe a lot of money, okay? Their mindset as it pertains to, filing taxes is definitely different from the person who wants the max tax refund. So while you're sitting here and marketing to, you know, people who want the max tax refund, you're unknowingly attracting that particular type of market. So you're essentially targeting your market anyway, just unknowingly. So now what I want you to do is to attract a target market, but be intentional about it. Okay, be intentional about it. And that's when you'll start to see 
you know, you get more clients who come back tax season after tax season. That's when you'll start to see your bank account increase. Okay. That's what we really want. That's when you will start to see significant growth in your tax business. When you start to be very intentional about your marketing, about your target market, about your messaging, about how you're presenting yourself, whenever and however you're presenting yourself, intentionality is everything. Intentionality is everything, okay? And one of the last things that I've noticed that why most tax professionals are broke is because you just simply haven't invested in either a personal or professional, you know, coach. You're not interested. I'm not going to say not interested, but you could either not be interested or just simply have not invested in your own personal or professional growth in some type of way, whether it's actually getting a coach and joining a program or even getting buying a course, getting an ebook, investing in your mental mindset shifts, how to handle money better, how to become a better marketer, even if you don't have the money to invest in a coach. Okay, there are other things that you can do to prepare your mind. There are other things that you can do to prepare yourself to elevate your business. If you do not have the funds, if you lack funds to invest in yourself, then you have to have an abundance of time and vice versa. Typically, if you lack funds, you have to have some time to be able to go to YouTube University to be able to read certain books so you can learn. Okay, but if you lack time, you typically have the funds to be able to hire a coach to get you to wherever you need to get to quicker, both on a personal and a professional level, because that is what it's going to take in order for you to become a successful tax business owner and entrepreneur. You have to be constantly growing, both personally and professionally. OK, guys, like in some type of way, understand me that you will not maintain the level of money that you want to create for yourself if you do not continue to grow both personally and professionally. You might have the roller coaster of income where you hit it real big and then you go all the way down and you have to climb back up again. I've been there. I've been on that roller coaster. It is not as fun as the roller coasters on Six Flags or at Six Flags, so I don't want it, <laughs> okay? However, if you want to be on a slow but steady incline or even maintain what you have reached, then you have to invest in yourself in some type of way, on some type of level, both personally and professionally, okay, guys? So those are just a few reasons why tax professionals are broke in this industry, and I do not want you to be one. So if you don't want to be broke as a tax professional, if you want to learn how to start, build, and scale a profitable and sustainable tax business, then I encourage you to click the link below and schedule a call with me. Let's see where you are and what your next best steps are are, okay? What do you need to do in order to start your tax business, in order to elevate your tax business? Let's find that out, okay? And I will see y'all in the next video. Peace.